Well, I feel like it's a blessing to have Christmas on a Sunday like this one. Well, from your favorite English channel, The Buzz UG, I wish you a Merry Christmas. I hope you're gonna have the best of the day. And uh, the people living in the diaspora, you're so special in some way because the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagula Nyusentamu, aka Bobby Wine, has particularly wished you guys a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Dear friends in the diaspora, I want to take this opportunity to wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for all the work that you're doing. Thank you for all the lobbying, for all the pushing, for all the offices that you knock on. This year has been amazing. Let's make next year even amazing. -er. I mean, more amazing. <laughs> Let's keep pushing the dictator. Let's keep exposing, let's keep doing what we do from different platforms, from different party parties, from different fronts. Let each one of us do what they can do to see that we weaken the dictator and ultimately make the dictator fall. Merry Christmas and a revolutionary new year. Peace. Now, leaving Christmas wishes aside, the late Member of Parliament, Horrible Patrick Okabe, was yesterday laid to rest with his wife in Serere District. The funeral was attended by the Vice President of Uganda, Her Excellency Jessica Alupo, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Thomas Tayebwa, among other government officials. Thomas Tayebwa anointed Patrick Okabe's son, Emmanuel Omodink, to replace him in Parliament. Well, this is a culture that's growing so big time in Uganda. You remember after the death of the late Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya, the son replaced him in Parliament, and it has also happened in some other parts of the country. So this is a culture that is growing so big time in Uganda. Otherwise, we are waiting to see what will be happening that side of Serere District, and all the updates will be coming your way right here on The Buzz UG. <music> Now, the National Unity Platform President, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, a.k.a. Bobby Wine, has responded to President Museveni's speech saying that torture, abductions and human rights violations are the order of the day. Uh, Robert Chagulanyi was responding to the comments made by the President during the media engagement. Bobby Wine said President Museveni is playing ignorant. If you could put her in touch with, with the Muviru there, so that I can get these people. Honestly and ignorantly about the abductions, denying that his government is not carrying out abductions. The structures are there, but if they are not used, then you get all these, even if the, even if the policemen were corrupt, because the policemen can be corrupt. Jamshid Kavuma was abducted for 32 days. The police spokesperson and the military spokesperson and all institutions of security were denying his abduction. Today is here. They even shot him in the leg. Now, the party secretary general, David Luis Rubonkoya, tasked the minister of internal affairs, General Kahinda Otafire, to prove his words that many of the people presented as torture victims are not. You know, these people sometimes really speak out maybe unintentionally about these things these are the very people when our president was arrested in uh, arua when he was uh, tortured they came out and denied that he was tortured now bobby one's nup camp also gave out christmas gifts to the families of their members in prison and those who passed on well, that's it on the Buzz UG this morning of the Christmas Day. And of course, I'm always right here 24-7 to keep you posted on the latest stories happening in the country. Uh, what you have to do, subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.